Okay, so we're now going to talk about the post pituitary gland hormones, and those are the antidiuretic hormones. We're going to refer to them as the ADH, which is uh, released, produced by the superoptic uh, nuclei in the hypothalamus, and the oxytocin, which will be referred to as OT, which is produced um, in the paraventricular nuclei of the hypothalamus and ADH will go on is a um, decreased urine output from the name antidiuretic diuresis means to urinate so antidiuretic means you know you don't go to the bathroom as much so that's a peptide hormone and its target is the kidney, specifically the tubules, and it uses the secondary messenger system with the cyclic AMP. And the FETS is, as we covered, it decreases urine output, um, increases blood volume, decreases osmolarity in the blood. And why it does that is to prevent us from getting dehydrated and um, from water overload. So, Dehydration happens when there's an increase in your solute concentration. So if you eat a lot of salt, you you know often have to drink more water. Basically, your red blood cells would uh, shrink if the osmolarity gets too high in your blood, and you don't really want your red blood cells to shrink. Anyways, um, it can be stimulated by any of these um, things that could increase your solute concentration like hemorrhaging, less fluid intake, dehydration, cardiac shock, diarrhea, increase in perspiration, um, if you drink a lot of alcohol. Well, if you drink a lot of alcohol, you actually inhibit ADH. And, um, and if you have a lot of fluid intake, you drink excessive water more than you would need, you also go to the bathroom a lot, so it only makes sense that your ADH will be inhibited. And instances, a high level of ADH would also increase your basal construction in the vascular uh, smooth muscles. Therefore, it has a uh, pressure effect. It's often known as vasopressure, so it kind of increases your blood pressure, which is not really, usually not a good thing, but if you're hemorrhaging, you might want to um, increase your blood pressure so you're able to circulate blood even though you're losing blood so the other hormone is oxytocin OT oxy means uh, rapid I mean quickly and uh, tocin tosia means childbirth so a very rapid childbirth um, this helps your contraction uh, when you're all female and affects the uterus and the breasts Obviously, they're all feminine organs. So, near the end of your pregnancy, your oxytocin uh, receptors would increase. Oh, and also, before we go on, ADH receptor is the osmo receptors that uh, helps the hypothalamus to monitor changes in the plasma osmolarity. So, um, the receptors in the uterus you know, also monitors like your pregnancy and like increases your sensitivity to OT. So what happens is that this is a positive feedback, possibly one of the only positive feedbacks in your body and is that your uterus will stretch and have to give birth and that sends an afferent impulse to your hypothalamus which then tells the paraventricular nuclei to synthesize OT. That goes into the posterior pituitary gland. It gets released. Um, it uses the PIP2 calcium messenger system, and the calcium increases contraction, causing the baby's head to push up more against the wall. It stretches, and this starts all over again. So, in the breasts, it... Um, it works with um, prolactin, 
which causes white tissue in your uh, breasts, and it'll, there's a mechanical pressure when they're suckling of the infant, um, which will increase OT release, which then you know releases more milk. So milk let down reflex. This is known as. Um, so in people who are not pregnant or they're not female, it um, it blunts the effects of cortisol in your physiological stress. Um, it helps men to move semen um, in the reproductive tracts and also help with ejaculation. And um, it's a cuddle hormone. It kind of stimulates your nurturing, affectionate behavior in human beings. So it's stimulated by obviously the uterus stretching, infant suckling, um, psychological stress, and it's inhibited inhibited by um, a lack of appropriate neural stimuli. So, hope you learned a lot about oxytocin and uh, anti-diuretic hormone of the posterior pituitary gland.